as well. And I would also like to know about uh, uh, what is your take on VLSI for all and its initiative. for all is a like a good platform you know i basically joined vlsi for all for uh, like basically two to three reasons first was you know i wanted to see what's happening in the training institutes like this space right so that was my main motive for joining vlsi for all making connections think uh, like uh, what's happening what uh, like what are other candidates doing basically comparing myself so because see people say that don't compare uh, anyone with yourself right so but how would you uh, like uh, you know understand your progress so basically what i was saying is uh, i joined vlsi for all for uh, because there uh, there was a huge uh, pool of candidates right preparing in the environment so just to see what the environment is like and how i'm i different from them so i so people tell you know like don't compare yourself with others but yeah what i would say is like yeah that that's a like very true thing but uh, in terms of skill sets right in terms of the efforts that they are putting you should compare yourself with someone who is actually better than you so that's the reason why i joined vlsi for yeah vlsi for all uh, has taken a very good initiative for uh, you know they conduct master classes free master classes regularly rajat provides uh, free guidance to many students and the uh, even uh, the uh, amount of help uh, that rajat provides to the students enrolled in various program is uh, like commendable the uh, faculty that i had uh, you know that uh, taught me like you know especially alaida ma'am so alaida ma'am was like you know one of my best faculty and she's one of my favorite faculty and the reason why i was able to answer every question of static timing analysis in my uh, aviva and uh, synopsis interview so yeah so the faculties are really good yeah do vlsi for all needs a lot of uh, work a uh, lot of work uh, to be improved uh, you know approaches need to be changes uh, changed which i found like you know uh, are uh, like to be average uh, like some lectures are average but yeah so like this uh, vlsi for all uh, provides the cheapest course on the market and trust me it's like you know worth for money for someone who uh, does not knows anything about vlsi for all uh, like uh, just uh, vlsi and how to get a job in vlsi so yeah the initiatives the management of vlsi for all is like uh, really amazing the faculty the current very lock faculty ma uh, like bhumika ma so she also like you know initially the very lock lectures were like average uh, for according to me like i already knew very well when i came here i thought that you know okay this is this i know like you know what's the different uh, thing i'm getting but the current faculty bhumika ma'am you know i attended her lectures even though i knew very well so you know i learned new things every day from the same concepts that she was teaching in a different way so yeah the faculties the live lectures like you know two of my favorite faculties were really amazing i learned a lot of stuff and like uh, bhumika ma'am made you know a good uh, note note document you know in which all the notes were written man everything so you know that helped me you know like to summarize and to like revise a very long in a very short period of time probably in 2 hours so yeah so yeah like even the ashmika ma'am system very log lectures yeah it uh, the coding approach in that uh, lectures were missing but the understanding of uh, different concepts of system very log theory theoretically is uh, really amazing so and the digital electronics lecture by nikhil sir are really amazing you know even though i did my digital electronics lecture from uh, uh, like digital i studied my digital electronics from john f walkerly but the lectures of nikhil sir had a different approach which was easier to understand i learned new things even there the tsmc faculty who taught uh, meta stability cdc fifo concept you know he was the guy you know after watching his fifo lecture i was able to you know i got to know about sunbus designs and the you know the data the types of uh, Uh, papers they uh, publish right so those papers you know i would recommend all of the students to refer because their language is very, very easy you can understand whatever they have written in there so like yeah so after watching that 
lecture, you know, like I just, you know, he taught what is asynchronous V4, what's happening, how it is working, the uh, pointer, uh, the pointer synchronization and everything. That's the reason, you know, I started from there, you know, making my own uh, project, like first one, making my first own project that was asynchronous V4, like by myself. So I was able to build uh, asynchronous FIFO by myself from that lecture and that's how you know I started uh, making on like projects one after another you know uh, like compl uh, complex projects and complicating different things to understand like what's happening so yeah overall VLSI for all is the best you can get on market uh, and for best price so yeah so that's all uh, thank you, Danshu. It was really nice speaking to you as well yeah. as we got so many good advices from you, which is going to be really helpful for aspiring VLSI students as well. Thank you so much for being on the show. Yeah, thank you. Good night. Yeah, thank you.